Assalamualaikum and Salamat Sejahtera Now we go to first chapter, Introduction to Economics In this first chapter, yeah, you uh, will be introduced by Economics The definite chapter, Introduction to Economics In this first chapter, yeah, you uh, will be introduced by Economics, the definition of economics. So, what is economics? Economics refer to a study of how people you fulfill unlimited wants. Jadi, di sini kita ada istilah limited resources. What resources? Resources is a... a something uh, we use as an output in our production process okay so resources can be land labor capital and entrepreneur land refer to all natural resources uh, for example air air water and forest the second one labor labor refer to the services contributed by people in the production process that involve both mental and physical effect uh, uh, the example uh, the example of labor who contribute mental effort uh, are lecturers teachers um, also accountant doctors okay and the example for labor who contribute the physical effort the physical effort like construction workers yeah like a uh, policeman like a um, fireman okay so that's uh, what we call labor the third one capital one capital capital is human made resources which are used in the production process to produce other goods and services so capital can be machine capital can be raw materials also can be buildings okay the last one is entrepreneur entrepreneur refer to human ability to combine land labor and capital to develop production of goods and services okay so economy is a study how people all these resources land labor capital and entrepreneur which is limited okay the resources is limited but how they will use the resources to fulfill unlimited ones who made this one this ones um, who made this one this uh, ones will be made by consumer okay consumer has uh, one and also needs okay but the problem normally uh, happen on ones because because they are unlimited okay so next we go to basic economics concept we have three basic economic concepts there are scarcity choices and also opportunity opportunity we look at the first one scarcity okay scarcity uh, happen because of once always exceeds limited resources to satisfy society or clients what uh, about choices okay choices means everyone cannot have what he or she wants so they have to choose from the available alternative Individual, fir individual firms and government make decisions to choose from many alternatives. The last one is opportunity cost. 
Opportunity cost means the second best alternative that has to be foregone for another choice which, choice which gives more satisfaction. In other words, opportunity cost is the cost of one choice in terms of the best foregone alternative. Okay, so uh, for this basic economic, economic concept, you must uh, state this concept in the correct arrangement. Okay, you will start with a scarcity. Next, choices. And the last one, opportunity, cost. You need to make choices due to scarcity. And because human make choices, so they have something to be foregone. That is what we call as opportunity cost. Alright, so next we go to basic economic problems. We have three basic economic problems. What to produce, how to produce, and for whom to produce. What to produce? Okay, the economy of every nation has to take a fundamental decision of what to produce because of the limited economy resources. The problem of what to produce is solved in different ways in different economic systems. Okay, for example, in a capitalist economy, the problem is solved through the price mechanism. Okay, and in a socialist economy, it is authority. The second one, how to produce, how to produce can be settled down by the choosing of cheapest, cheapest method of production. There are alternative techniques of producing goods and services. Okay, so normally people need to choose the low cost method the third one is for whom to produce this is referred to distribution refer to distribution distribution of economic benefits depends on the distribution of income okay next question possibility curves what is production possibility curve ppc ppc shows a various possible combination of goods and services produced within a specific time with given technology and resources okay then uh, from the definition we have the words various possible combination of goods and services this actually refer to a diagram that comes of ppc so for study ppc we need to make a uh, several assumptions the first assumptions the economy must be in full effort efficiency in full effort efficiency its full employment and full production capacity the second assumption the amount of resources available is fixed the third assumption the state of technology does not production and the last assumption is economic only produced to goods so uh, how to draw ppc normally ppc is a straight line on a graph paper okay so to draw a line you need to have 
a table of combination as your reference so here we have a table of showing production of two products they are shoes and also rice okay so in our ppc we need to draw to plot a combination a until a until f so if you done with the uh, a curve you will have a bow line like this one okay good a and good b good a could be shoes good, good b could be yes rice okay so uh, the line refer a combination that could be produced when all, all the resources use efficient efficiency efficiently okay so uh, from this diagram we have two points point x and also point y so both points are attainable that attainable that means can be produced by using all the combination of resources we also have point w point w actually inside a curve inside the ppc curve so point w attainable point this combination at point w can be produced yes it can be produced this combination can be produced but it's not efficient because of it's not efficient because of they will have waste of resources and also unemployment how about point z point z is outside the ppc curve so it's unattainable point it cannot be produced because of limited resources so at this point at point z we have a problem that we call scarcity so we can produce point z okay by moving our ppc that's mean by increasing our output so there is a factor there is a a technique, technique how to increase our output meaning also here is how to move our ppc curve so the factor that influence the shift of the ppc are economic growth technologies and also population So normally, uh, for economic growth, the PPC will bounce outwards. It shows the increase in output. Okay, the increase in output is due to the availability of new resources, new machinery. So the curve of PPC will move to the right. Next is technological advance. Technological advance also increase the production capability of a country. So the output will be increased. The last one is population. Okay. Population uh, shows the numbers of people in a country. If the number of population increase, the PPC 
curve will move to the right okay uh, and also if there is a, uh, and also if there is a migration to another country meaning the population falls so the ppc will shift to the left okay the last one will of ppc and also the shape yeah the shape of ppc ppc could be viewed in three shapes it could be concave linear and also convex the shape of ppc will show the different type of opportunity opportunity cost the concave ppc will show an increasing opportunity cost a linear ppc shows a constant opportunity cost and the last one if you look a ppc yeah is a, a convex line so it shows that the opportunity cost is this decreasing all right